The Omega Point is a theoretical concept predicting a future event in which the universe will converge into a single unified entity. This idea originated from Pierre Teilhard de Chardin, a French Jesuit priest. Drawing parallels to Christian eschatology, Teilhard suggested that the Omega Point echoes the Logos. Christ, who, according to the Nicene Creed, embodies true divinity and through whom existence was birthed. The Book of Revelation parrots this, with Christ symbolizing both the inception and conclusion of all things. This theory later inspired the works of thinkers including John David Garcia, Paolo Soleri, Frank Tipler, and David Dijkstra. Teilhard, a paleontologist and Roman Catholic priest, began introducing these revolutionary ideas during his lecture in France during the 1920s, sparking dialogues about the coexistence of Catholicism and evolution. These teachings ultimately led to his exile to China and publication prohibition. Amid accusations of negating the doctrine of original sin, however, a year after his death in 1955, his writings eventually became public, receiving endorsements from influential religious figures such as Pope Benedict XV. His celebrated work, The Phenomenon of Man, though not scientifically feasible, has been the focus of intent examination by cosmologists and astrophysicists, regarded as a thought provoking exploration of theology and philosophy. Teilhard highlighted that his work should be perceived as a scientific discourse rather than a philosophical or theological treatise. Teilhard proposed that evolution did not cease with humans, but began much earlier with the development of the Earth's biosphere. He detailed a trajectory of evolution progressing from inanimate matter to a divine consciousness through a process he labeled hominization. According to him, simple one-celled organisms evolve into complex animals. With some acquiring intelligence, the appearance of Homo sapiens on Earth led to the creation of a cognitive layer of existence referred to as the new sphere. As evolution progresses, this new sphere coheres and with scientific aid can be directed to become the omega point, the ultimate evolutionary stage this process of planetization. Results in the new sphere dominating over the biosphere and furthers the formation of a metaphysical being, the Omega Point. Radical theory that humanity will evade the eventual demise of the universe is known as heat death. Modern scientific consensus suggests that intelligence cannot survive this. Yet, an alternative idea proposed suggests that radial energy's non-compliance with entropy enables it to evade the collapses of forces as the universe ends. This notion revolves around something referred to as the Omega Point, positioned at the very edge of time itself. This omega point assimilates all sequences of life into its existence, described as a diminishing, cone-shaped volume. The omega point, according to Telhard, is produced by what he labels forces of compression, defined not through traditional gravitational and mass means, but through human interaction and communication, which directly impacts entropy and consciousness, propelling its evolution and growth Telhard views these interactions as critical to his theory happening in human evolution, insisting that humanity must also be confined within finite planet Earth. He argues that the world's convergence upon itself results in time terminating in communion with the Omega Point God. Teilhard didn't feel humans would traverse the cosmic realms beyond Earth's bounds, a sentiment not shared by mathematical physicist Frank Tipler. Tipler extrapolated Teilhard's Omega Point concept to predict the universe's ultimate destiny, Premising this on physical laws, Tipler affirms that the universe must be closed and return to a single point yet still carry observers capable of boundless observations within a finite time this. Interpretation of the Omega Point is, for the most part, dismissed by the broader scientific community as pseudoscience. Teilhard's lifetime, 1881-1955, spanned between the First and Second Vatican Council. His birth occurred only a couple of decades after Charles Darwin's On the Origin of Species was published. With scientific theories beginning to challenge traditional theological teachings, the Vatican took a keen interest in these matters. Pope Pius XI in 1946 raised concerns about the theory of evolution, without explicitly rejecting it, questioning what its implications would be on unchangeable Catholic dogmas, unity, and the stability of the creed. Discourse lies in the intertwining of scientific evolution and religious divinity, in particular, taking the view that God is the instigator of evolution. The Church serves as a mediator between the divine and the world, and the Catholic Church's role isn't just to assert its supremacy, but rather to introduce the world to the universal Christ, symbolizing the driving force behind evolution. 
In 1998, research on type IS supernova suggested that the expansion of the cosmos, once believed temporary, is actually picking up speed, which in turn led to critiques of Tipler's omega point theory and its prerequisite of a cosmic egg crunch. Undeterred, Tipler stands by his omega point theory, defending the necessity of a final singularity. The technological singularity, the theorized emergence of self-improving artificial intelligence, leading to an exponential growth in machine intelligence and unpredictable effects on humanity, is argued to share parallels with Telhard's Omega Point concept by advocate of Christian transhumanism. Eric Steinhardt Ray Kurzweil, like Teilhard, foresaw a time of intense technological evolution culminating in a blend of humans and technology. In Telhard's view, this marks the birth of the new sphere and leads to humanity's ascend from and transhuman to post-human, a transition he connects with the Christian concept of parousia. The Omega Point theory has made its marks in various forms of art and literature. Salvador Dali's painting, The Ecumenical Council, encapsulates the interconnectedness stemming from the theory. Similarly, Don DeLillo's book, Point Omega, weaves the theory into its narrative as does Flannery O'Connor in her short story collection, Everything That Rises Must Convert. Frederick Pohl's short story, The Siege of Eternities, also explores the Omega Point theory. It extends to comic book plots as well. As seen in works by counterculture figure Grant Morrison, the theory is even alluded to in Arthur C. Clarke and Stephen Baxter's The Light of Other Days, which offers a concise explanation of the Omega Point.